Hey, what's up? This is Josh Beatler with the Guitar Player School, and I got a question for you. For those of you guys that are trying to learn modes, what scale is this? Now, if you answered to yourself A Ionian, you would be wrong, and here's why. The answer is we don't have enough information to know what scale this is. So here's a big problem I see a lot of people having, especially uh, in this group, is that if you guys are trying to learn the fretboard and you're trying to learn mode shapes, and you're just thinking about shapes and not thinking about the harmony behind it, you will always have a hard time understanding modes because you are thinking that a scale shape is the scale. A scale shape is a collection of notes that we as guitar players are able to learn because we have an awesome instrument called the guitar and it's very visual. Now it's A Ionian. Now it's B Dorian. Now, it's C-sharp Phrygian. Notice how every time I make a different note in here, the one, all of the other numbers change. And that is because a scale is not a shape. A scale is a collection of notes. A mode is when we have the major scale, and a different note in the major scale is the one. Now, there's different ways that that could happen. The main one is, instead of playing the one chord of the key, in this case, A major. Now we're playing on the two chord of the key, which would be B minor. That would make this scale pattern into B Dorian. Now, there's a little bit more to it than that. For example, if we're playing a chord progression that goes A, D, and E, the difficult way of thinking about it is, okay, we're in A Ionian, and now we're in D Lydian, and now we're in E Mixolydian. I think that's really difficult to think about. And I also don't think it's 100% correct, my opinion, just because A is still the one of the chord progression. Uh, and while we're on the D note for a minute, and D is the one of the D chord, and then the E is the one of the E chord, it's still not the one of the chord progression. When B minor is the one of the chord progression, meaning like the other chords keep going back to B minor as it's one, then I'd argue that that's when you can say it's a true Dorian chord progression, and there's only so many chords that will give you the Dorian sound, that will give you the Phrygian sound, etc. Okay, so just wanted to point out that a scale is not a shape, a scale is a collection of notes, and you have to know what the one is, and there's two layers of the one, there's the one of the chord progression, and then there's the one of the chord that you're on. If you don't understand that, you will forever be stuck in patterns, and you will forever be going up and down, and you won't understand the harmony. So take a step back, learn how chord progressions work in the key of C, for example, and then the scale patterns are going to make a lot more sense because your brain, your ear, your eyes, your hands are going to be able to know which note is the one and therefore what mode you're actually playing. Hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, this is Josh Beatler with the Guitar Player School. Practice. Rock on.